Welcome to the ITIL Foundations course. I'm Joseph Phillips. In this course, we're going to talk about how you can pass the ITIL Foundations exam. I'm going to help you get to that goal of passing the exam. But first, who am I? Well, I'm Joseph Phillips, or just Joe. I am a project management professional. I am a PMI Agile certified professional. I'm a CompTIA Project Plus professional, a certified technical trainer. I've written several books on project management, including one book that is on IT project management. In my olden days, I was an MCSC, a Microsoft certified trainer, A+, Network+, things of that nature. I have been a technology consultant, a project management consultant, and obviously a writer. But what's most important is that I am a trainer, that I'm going to train you, I'm going to help you earn the ITIL Foundations certification. So that's who I am. Now throughout this course, I want us to think about that your goal and my goal is really the same. And that's you passing the ITIL certification, that you can do this. But throughout this course, we're going to focus on the exam content. Yes, learning ITIL is important. And yes, you may want to implement this or work in an organization that's using ITIL and that's very important. But our focus, our scope in this course is very narrow. And that's you passing the exam. So I'm only teaching things that are relevant to the exam content. So keep that in mind as we move throughout the course that our focus is on you passing the exam. Now, throughout this course, if there's something that you need help with, let me know. Uh, I'm here to help you, that I'm pretty quick about answering comments or questions, and so I ask that you uh, participate in the course and add those comments and questions as we move throughout. That I want you to be happy with the course, I want you to pass the exam, and if there's something that I can do to help, please let me know. Throughout the course, you may be prompted to leave a review, and those are really important to me, also to other participants in the course. So if at any time you feel inclined to leave less than a five-star review, let me know why. Let me help. So don't be shy about that, that I'm here for you, and I'm here to help you earn the ITIL certification. The structure of this course is pretty simple, it's pretty logical. The course has been broken down into sections. Within each section you'll see lectures, much like this, that I'll be uh, lecturing you uh, throughout the course. And then you're going to see some quizzes. I want you to do those quizzes. There'll be a few exercises in the course as well that go along with the quizzes. At the end of the course, I'll have a final exam for you that will emulate the foundations exam that you are going to pass. As I mentioned throughout the course, if you have questions, please leave those uh, in the Q&A section. You can uh, access that at any lecture. And you can also send me a private message if you have a, a question or a comment or you want to say hi. Uh, you can do that through the uh, messaging as well. In this course, as I mentioned, you are studying to pass the exam. You're not taking the exam. You are passing the exam. I really believe that there is a mindset that you should use that you are working to pass. And you can do this. I have confidence in you that you can get this done. You need, though, a commitment to the material, that you need to uh, really be invested in this material, invested in the time in order to achieve the ITIL certification. It's not a terribly difficult exam, but it certainly is not an easy exam. People will often ask me, well, how long do I need to study? And that's a really tough question for me to answer because I don't know you personally. I don't know your background. I don't know your aptitude. I don't know how, what your depth of familiarity with this information already. So it's tough for me to answer how long you should study. However, um, most people can spend three to five days if they really invest the time, and I'm talking like four to six hours a day, for three to five days, they can pass this exam no problem. Well, if you can't give up four to six hours a day, you can do the math. Um, you know, I'm talking roughly, um, you know, 20 to 30 hours. So can you spread that over a couple of weeks? In my experience, the longer you wait, if you say, well, I can only give an hour a day, so I have to study an hour a day for a month, um, that's not going to be as successful. 
because your brain begins to forget information that you learned on day one by the time you get to day 20 or 25. So I encourage you to try to compress that schedule and to give more focus in a shorter amount of time and get this done. So if you can, uh, compress that schedule and focus and uh, work on getting the exam done. All right, let's get started. Have the mindset, have the confidence that you can do this. Some confidence that you can get this done. All right, let's keep moving forward.